Welcome to Tech World, your quick roundup of some of the top technology news stories from across the globe. This month, we bring you the latest on Uber workers' rights, Zuckerberg's testimony in Europe, and more. For this episode's Hot Topic interview, we spoke to EY about growth through channels and partners. First, though, here are your top international headlines. Ride-hailing giant Uber has announced that it will now start providing medical cover and compensation to its European drivers. The benefits will include sick pay and paternal leave in an attempt to win back its license to operate in London. Uber is calling the free insurance partner protection, which covers drivers who cannot work because of sickness, injury, caring for a baby or jury service. It would also provide a payout to drivers if they have an accident while at work and need medical treatment. Mark Zuckerberg appeared before the European Parliament to answer questions about the Cambridge Analytica scandal and the company's use of personal data. However, his testimony has been criticised, with some MEPs claiming that he dodged their questions. The short format of the EU Parliament testimony session has been blamed for allowing Mark Zuckerberg to cherry-pick which questions he wanted to answer. The leaders took it in turns to pose questions to the Facebook founder, which took about an hour. There were only then a few minutes left when Zuckerberg was asked if he would like to answer all of the questions at once. Documents have revealed that police in Orlando and Oregon, Washington County are using face recognition technology provided by Amazon. The technology enables Oregon officers to cross-reference people's faces with any criminal record using a 300,000 person database of mugshots. There has been backlash from civil rights groups including the American Civil Liberties Union who said recognition software guide read like a user manual for authoritarian surveillance. The tech giant has defended its decisions by stating that the technology has helped to find lost children and can also be used to help fight crime. They also claimed that quality of life would be much worse if technology such as these were blocked. That's it for our top global tech news roundup but keep watching to see this episode's Hot Topics interview. We spoke to EY's Pippa Dussier about partnerships and growth. Thank you very much for joining us today, Pippa. You're here to talk to us about partnerships and growth. So on that note, um, how is technology shaping the number and nature of partnerships in the TMT sector? So what we're seeing is partnerships in the TMT sector are, are far from you. They've been there since the inception and, and traditionally TMT companies have used partners as channel partners to access, take their products to consumers. Um, and that is a symbiotic relationship in which both organisations take a share of the end consumer value chain. And that's been a very um, accepted way of, of going to market. The change in what's happening is that on the one hand you've got shifting consumer perceptions and um, fundamental shifts in the way consumers are both perceiving providers and, and purchasing. And then you've got technology changes which give companies a direct route to those customers through e-commerce and platform business models which mean that there are different types and numbers of partnerships that are available to TMT organisations. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's where we're seeing the shift. Um, so in the one sense we're seeing a shift in some instances away from traditional channel partners mm -hmm. and we're starting to see very unlikely, um, in some cases even competitors coming together within platform business models to market their products and services to end consumers. And that, that's the main shift that we're seeing. What challenges are companies in the space facing and how can they collaboratively work together to overcome these? So I think the main challenges again is in terms of how do you access new forms of growth and how do you tap into new technology, um, I guess the opportunities that technology mm -hmm. provides in a way that doesn't either um, incur a lot of cost and also in a way that ensures that you have a position um, in, in the end consumer and really what we're seeing is, is a battle for ownership of that, of that consumer. Um, so if you take an example of, of customer data, customer data is um, you know, proliferating and it's across multiple touch points and there's an opportunity for organisations who have access to different types of that data to partner together to offer an enhanced proposition to the customer. So we are seeing um, mobile network operators and credit card providers um, being able to stitch together the purchasing behaviours and the geolocation of customers mm -hmm. um, to provide a richer picture of behaviours and therefore provide um, enhanced products to those end consumers. On that note, uh, what should these businesses look to get out of a partnership? I think the main thing is really focusing on that word 
partnership. There needs to be that symbiosis, there needs to be um, a, sh a shared goal, mm -hmm. if you like. So either that shared goal is that um, it's sharing a, a portion of the value chain of the end consumer, or that shared goal may actually be around um, development ownership of a product. So particularly if you, t if you take companies that are, that are starting out, um, partnership is a wonderful way to tap into um, a different type of skill sets and experts in the market without actually incurring those as a fixed cost. So ecosystem partners, partnering with um, design thinking, partnering with agencies. And, but how organisations need to do that needs to be very much aligned with their brand values. So what we advise companies to do is to seek genuine partnerships in the way that there is, um, there's, there's a shared goal and there's, there's a common value system, but also to seek partnerships that offer a, um, offer a brand perception, I guess, that enhances the, the, the genuine nature of those. Um, so to be quite careful around who you partner with and so who you choose to do business with and who you m may say, actually that doesn't align with the type of organisation that we're looking to be in the eyes of the consumer. Great, well thank you very much for your time, Pippa. Thanks for having me. That's all for this episode. For more top global tech news, head over to www.uktech.news.